Redstone Software's Eggplant is an innovative cross-platform automation tool. Eggplant was designed from the beginning with a focus on simplicity to deliver an effective and easy-to-use solution for testing, remote systems administration, and other automation needs. In a manual testing environment, a human operator interacts with one or more systems, performing a variety of tasks to validate that the system under test is responding as it should. In the eggplant environment, eggplant scripts automate the process of performing tasks on one or more systems under test. Eggplant can perform tests and report results faster, more consistently, and more reliably than a human operator and is available 24 hours a day without any overtime pay. Eggplant controls another computer through an open source remote control system called VNC. A VNC server running on the system under test allows Eggplant to see the screen of the other computer and to control its keyboard and mouse. This allows Eggplant scripts to recognize objects appearing on the remote screen and to perform any actions in response, such as clicking on a button or entering text in a field. Eggplant works by remotely controlling another computer. Here, we're using Eggplant to establish a connection to another system. Initially, we're in live mode in which we interact directly with the other computer, controlling its keyboard and mouse and seeing its screen. We've created a very simple application called Very Simple that we'll use to illustrate how you would use Eggplant to test another application. First, let's take a look and see what Very Simple does. When it's first launched, it brings up a login panel. If we enter a name, such as Fred, and a password in the password field, Wilma in this case, and click the Submit button, very Simple then brings up a list of pictures. If we select one of these pictures and click the Preview button, the Very Simple application sends a message to the Preview application to display that picture. That's really all there is to it. And before we uh, initiate our test, let's go ahead and quit out of Preview and quit Very Simple so that we're back to our initial condition. We'd now like to create a test that will run very simple through its paces to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. The first step in creating a test is to build a new suite. And a suite in Eggplant is simply a repository for a collection of tests and related resources. We'll create a new test now, uh, a script by the name of first test. Now we could begin by typing our script directly in the script editor window here, but instead of doing that, let's go and use Eggplant's script generation capabilities to generate a script for us. We do this by entering capture mode, and in capture mode, instead of interacting live with the remote system, we're selecting areas of the screen that are of interest. Here we'll select the very simple icon which we want to double click in order to launch the program. By clicking on the double click icon in the toolbar, we bring up a panel that allows us to assign a name for this image. Now when we click the Save button, three things are going to happen. The first is that Eggplant generates a line of script, which you can see is done there. The second is that we've captured an image of the icon and that's saved in the suite. And the third is that Eggplant has actually gone and looked for that image on the screen and double-clicked on it, thereby launching the very simple application on the remote system. The next thing we'd like to do is click in the name field in order to be able to type there. So we select the word name, but we don't want to click on the word. We want to click in the field to the right. So Eggplant allows us to adjust the hotspot, the point where the click will actually occur. We give each image a name to make it easy to follow in our script. And once again, we've generated a line of script and saved another image in the suite. 
Now we'd like to type in the name. The type text command allows us to do this. We put in Fred and press the tab key. Again, we're instructing Eggplant what to do to the remote system. And uh, now we're going to enter the password, Wilma. The next step is to click on the Submit button. So we select uh, that area on the screen. Again, Eggplant works totally independently of the system under test. We uh, see the screen just like a person would and interact with it just as a human user would. Now, a very simple has brought up the list of images. Why don't we select the chess image? So we'll tell Eggplant to click on that. And once that's done, we can click on the preview button. The preview button is a pulsating blue button, which is common in Mac OS X's Aqua interface. Eggplant recognizes that and adjusts its image matching accordingly. Now, once the application has messaged the preview application to bring that image up, we want to make sure that, it, in fact, it displayed the correct image. We can do this by entering a wait for command that will tell Eggplant to wait for that image to appear. In this case, we're going to allow up to eight seconds for the processing to occur and that image to appear on the remote screen. You'll notice that because Eggplant is independent of the remote system, we can easily test interactions between different applications. We'll now instruct Eggplant to quit out of the two applications, first by typing a command Q in the pre preview application, and then we'll quit out of, very simple, going through the menus this time. So we click on the uh, very simple menu, and then click on the quit item. This is just one way that we can control things through the menus. All right, our script is complete now. Here it is. And let's take a look at uh, the images that have been saved. You can see that uh, Eggplant has captured the various images that are being used in the test. And they're all stored in the suite. Let's enter live mode again so we can see better what's going on and try running our script to see if it can reproduce those actions. When we click on Run Script, Eggplant goes through each command one at a time and carries out those actions on the remote system. We can see that it's entered the name Fred and the password. Now it's selecting the image. And there it is, showed on the screen. And it's quitting out of the applications, and now it's done. Let's take a look back in the suite now to see what, uh, how the results are stored. Every time a script is executed, Eggplant keeps a careful log of everything that was done. You can see that this execution was successful. It's why it's displayed in green. And every step of the way, Eggplant logs exactly what image it found on the screen and where it was and at what time that event occurred. But what would happen if our script failed? Let's take a quick look. Suppose we change the script now and change the password from Wilma to, oh, let's say, Betty. This is not the correct password for Fred. So when we run the script, it gets as far as entering the name and entering the password. But at that point, it's not successful in logging in. Eggplant recognizes that it's not able to find the next image, which was the word chess that it was looking for in the list of pictures. Looking again at our results, we can see that the most recent script execution resulted in a failure. Any time that a script fails, Eggplant automatically captures a full screen image of the remote system to make it easy to determine what the cause of the error might have been. 
We can also examine the log to see exactly what steps succeeded and at what point the script failed. As you can see, with Eggplant's easy-to-use, straightforward interface, you can very quickly be up to speed and generating tests for your own applications.